I really like Dr. Peter Atia's analogy of all cardiovascular training. If you have a pyramid and the base is your zone two or your aerobic base training and the peak is your zone five, you want to maximize the area under the whole curve. So essentially balancing doing zone two and zone five, specifically using the 80-20 method of training, which is 80% zone two and 20% zone five or VO2 max. If you only do the low intensity cardio or long-term endurance training, then you're definitely going to have a very big base and you probably will have increases in your VO2 max as well. But for really maximizing the whole area under the curve, you want to also incorporate that aerobic peak training. And on the contrary, if you really only do sprints or train for VO2 max, you're definitely going to have a very tall peak of the pyramid, but you won't really have a, a substantial base of the pyramid.